Next, we're gonna work on a different group here. And I'm gonna work on this one that says PSDT, and that is a Photoshop template file. You can create your own template files by using the PSDT file format. Let me show you what that means. If we wanted to turn this file into a template, meaning we wanna have a file that we can just drag and drop a file into, we can save this as a PSDT. Let me show you how that works. I can go into File, Save As, save on my computer, and I'll just call it Perspective Template. And at the very end, notice that I have the PSD file format, but I can add a T to that. See that PSDT. When I save, and press OK, Photoshop will save a Photoshop template file, not a PSD, a PSDT. And, be, and that's because I added that T to the file name. So when I open this up, you'll notice that I have a PSDT. Notice that the icon looks a little bit different. And when I open up that PSDT, Photoshop, uh, let me actually just close this file and then open it up. I think I needed to close that first. Let me open up that PSD file. There we go, PSDT file. It opens up an untitled document. It's no longer the same file. So if I were to delete all the files in here, or all the layers, and then save it, Photoshop will ask me to save a new file, so I will never override that file. Let me bring up that folder again. And that is because I have a PSDT. You can also convert a regular PSD file into a PSDT just by right-clicking and selecting Rename and just adding a T to the end, and that will turn it into a Photoshop template file. Just click on Yes if your OS asks you to change the file type. And notice that this is now a template file. If I double-click on that, it opens up, and it reads Untitled in the tab, meaning that it's a separate instance. It's no longer the same file. So that means you cannot override that template. So this is very beneficial because you may be working on a campaign that always uses the same basic file. You can open it up and all your images and layers are ready to go. You can come in there and edit the smart object probably, drag in a file in there. So I'll probably drag this file in here and I'll scale it up like so save it, there it is, and I can just save this now as my new document, and I will not override the original. So that's the importance of working with Photoshop template files. You don't override the original file. You can also add a T to AI files, InDesign files, After Effects files, and pretty much any file that is sold through Adobe Stock as a template. That's why this file format was created. But you can take advantage of it by creating your own templates. Just remember, add a T to the file name. If you want to edit your template, what you need to do is simply right-click and rename it and remove that T to make it into a regular PSD, a regular Photoshop file. And when you open it up, you can see now that it's just a regular Photoshop file. You can make any adjustments that you want and then turn it into a PSD T once again when your template is ready. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.